that I'm about to fuck my fucking two years relationship because of you. Alex, the glitter is the carry face. The is the carry face. Your life from where you were at to this point. And how you do it, shut up. Hey, look at me. Hear your mic, oh. Think you have five face. Because I managed to kiss you, you're not happy. These sexy lips of mine. If you were ahead of us, you'd have given us if you asked. It's true. Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Fun Pop with Lillian and how are you all doing? Last Saturday night rave in Biggie's house and you all know the party happens after the party like the main drama and just get in your earplugs because it's gonna be a very long one okay after the party the housemates has just entered the house over excited and thanking big brother for how everything played out but then sissy now announced that can you imagine she was greeting alex only for alex to snob her what's the meaning of that and Perez said you know what ignore her <laughs> that that does not even matter at this point that positive energy man if she choose you know to bring in bad energy that's on her and not on anybody why the rest of the housemates ex-housemates were excited to see them why would she come with all that energy and even Messi confirmed to that saying yes that she was greeting her as well and she was just forming one kind thing for them only to come at the end of the show trying to form um miss goodish you know trying to get along with them who cares at this moment and nobody cares at this point why will you form at the beginning only to come at the end of the party and try to form a jolly good fellow with them at this point Messi was already confronting Perry, telling Perry that what you did with doing that's not right that when you're with her you don't act that way you don't act all soft okay and at that you never know, even turned to Perry and was like oh you know Perry was saying oh i apologize apologizing doesn't take anything away from me and Messi was just like no no you don't do that and Ilepaya now turned to them and now said, Pere, you think you're giving her love? You think you're giving her love? <laughs> that what you're giving Mercy is not love. And she then turned to Mercy and said, whatever he's giving you is not love. You are above whatever he's giving you. And Kroos on hearing that was like, Ilepaya, can you... <laughs> Can you keep quiet? And Messi was already agreeing with Libaye, telling Pere that there must be something the rest of the housemates are seeing that she's not seeing. That Libaye is right. And at that, Cross kept telling Libaye, just keep quiet. Then. Keep quiet, you idiot. We die your face that is like vampire. And then Libaye turned and said, Have you seen your own face? Your face that is like Chihuahua, that is close to Babu. Your face is close to that of an ape because I just managed to kiss you. <laughs> <laughs> and you're feeling like what I don't know. And that cross is like she'll be happy I kiss you. And he never said, Did you do you see my you lips? You think outside of here I'll have anything to do with that your lips also <laughs> Anyways, at this moment, um CC has just come to announce to Cross about Ike's coins. And Cross said yes that while at the party, Ike has informed him that the cross is in the toilet. And that declare said, I would like to follow you as well to go get these coins. And they also announced that Ford forgot his own coins as well, 1,400 coins. Oh, more these people reach you. Hey. And to think Cross had to buy coins with all that amount of money. Hey. CCC mesmerized with Neo reached out for Neo's picture and said, Don't worry, Neo. Outside of here, we'll definitely test the waters. And I'm like, mm? Really? Hey. It's the switch for Neo. It's how this whole thing started with EK. And then CC moved from EK to Lipton Task, talking about a uh, kid wire, and now back to new again. Well, we are here for all of it. We can't wait to see when CC will be testing the waters. I hope they show some JPEGs online too. Anyways, CC decided to give us a mini vlog with the techno phone by giving a shout out to Big Brother, thanking him for being a very good host. That they really enjoyed themselves in the house, especially tonight. Well, don't worry, we'll test the waters. We'll test, we'll test it. So we'll check. Sissy, after doing a mini vlog, passed the phone to Messi as well, and Messi started thanking Big Brother as well. 
at this point Biki now announced that the head show H should come she come to the diary room on returning back cross took the phone from them to go and give big brother Ilebaye then tried in making an inquiry from Cross asking him was it Big Brother that requested or it's time to return or he just feel like returning the phone. Only for Dekle to turn to Ilebaye and said, you know, if you are the one in our shoes, you won't even give us this phone. If you are the one in Cross's shoes, meaning that if Ilebaye was in charge, you won't even allow us to do all this with this phone. And at that, Ilebaye now turned to Adekule asking him when did this start like what resulted to this point why is why is he throwing jabs at her why is she, why is he always wanting to make her feel like she's a terrible person that all the time in this house he always talk to her like she's the worst person on earth and then at that he lay by your face that they clear was saying you are not a saint all of you in this house are always feeling like saints, making it look like I'm the bad person, but let me reserve what I want to say. And Adekle was like, say it, say what you want to say, say it. And Ilebaye then said, you're just showing your true color. Ilebaye then went ahead to tell Adekule to learn to be kind, and Adekule said, I will always say the truth. And Ilebaye said, at least say it in a kind way. And Adekule said, there's nothing kind about the truth. The all truth will always be the truth. No need sugarcoating it or try to say it in any other way. And the lady said, if I start to talk about you people, if I start to talk about you people, but then let me keep it to myself. Anyways, we could still hear her voice in the in the background, you know, echoing, going at a decoy. But now the camera has shifted to um, Messi and the Perry. Messi is angry at Perry for two things. One, for kneeling down to apologize to doing at the party. And secondly, for still being between Cross and Kim. In her words, she said Perry didn't allow Cross and Kim to shine. Why is he trying to, you know, still be there, still being in the Moduma, trying to intrude? Why can't he allow those two lovers breathe? But then let's start from how it all started. Messi is telling Perry that she's currently feeling like a fool. Imagine jeopardizing her two years relationship just to end up in this trash. That while at the party today, you did things that her man would never or shouldn't have ever do. And then Messi now started with asking Perry, let me ask you something. You said in your first marriage that the main reason there was an issue is because you had a female bestie. That your wife saw this, your female bestie at her bridal shower. And also saw this same girl on a set with you and that that led to a problem that the both of you now had to divorce that you see that this is this was the main cause the main thing that led to your divorce and Perry was still trying to explain telling her mercy calm down no let me tell you what happened it's one of it but not really what happened you know Mercy was still uh, Perry was still trying to tell Mercy to calm down let me explain things to you let me give you details but Mercy said no that is like as if same thing is about to happen again that she can't watch you have a best friend have a bestie that can you imagine the way you were just gushing over kim <laughs> messi said coming on this show her team warned her not to get into any ship being that her first season in biggest house everything was done around ship and at that people said ship was her strategy and they also told her not to get into any fight so the same narrative don't happen again regarding the whole thing that played out in the first season and coming into this out that she did her best only to end up here the female person you want your wife to have that okay don't do not like cannot oh. always there let cross break now listen in the words of mercy she said coming into the house i have to play the whole i have a man i have a man which man do i even have I'm just trying to avoid being in any ship and I'm like hold on wait is it that a messy doesn't have any relationship outside is it that the whole two years relationship is just fiction <laughs> anyway let's not go there let's just take it that she's currently drunk she's high Messi then said she has been trying to avoid relationship problem quarrel only for her to end up in another relationship just at the end of the game and she's now telling Perry from here what's next what's up for her what are you assuring her that can you imagine her man kneeling down to apologize to doing that she doesn't care how all those bitches feel it's none of her problem that meanwhile before they went for today's party that they actually had an agreement 
to give the ex housemates any energy they bring. And she then told Pere, you Pere, you were actually present when this discussion was happening, only for you to go there now and start kneeling down to apologize to Doyin. And Pere now said that apologizing, kneeling down to apologize to Doyin, does not take away anything from me, it doesn't make me less of a man. That he decided to take that approach for peace to win, being that hitting the floor, hitting the wall, wasn't the right way to go about things. And he just wants peace to be there, you know. And Messi was like, no, not by you kneeling down. That her man should not be soft. <laughs> Wahala. Messi at this point now told Pere, you know what? I can't continue with this. We should end this. I'm ending this. I don't care what happens on the outside. I don't care what holds for me. I don't care if my man will be there or not. I need to end this. And Pere said, I'm not forcing you to do this with me. Just know that... The feelings were real, everything was genuine from my own part, and I won't force you to get into anything or get to do any relationship with me. But then I chose, I made that decision to apologize. And it nothing, it doesn't take away anything from me. And for Kim, Kim has always been my friend. We've been friends from way back. There is no relationship thing happening. I'm not trying to get into the way between him between her and cross i'm just being a friend <laughs> anyways don't forget to click to watch the part two of last night's drama okay thank you for watching this part i'll see you in my next video thank you what business you have with how any of those bitches however they're feeling